Hey there, Darth is here again, back with what I hope will be a revamp of my hosting series. But in this video, I want to go over installing Omega Manager, as well as setting up your first server with it. As always, I'll have related download links in the video description. Let's get started. So Omega Manager allows you to deploy and manage your DAISY servers without having to mess with a ton of scripts. For this video, I'll be using an OVH dedicated server running Windows 10. I'm not sponsored by OVH. I just chose them because of the cost and I just like their support. If you do end up going with OVH, I recommend checking out my video on how to get started with Windows 10 on their system. Before we install Omega Manager, we need to make sure that we have a few things set up. Obviously, we need a system to run the server on. Dedicated server is ideal. You can set this up on a separate system in your house, but that won't be covered in this video. Next is a copy of DayZ. This should be a separate copy of DayZ on a separate Steam account. If you use the same credentials for the hosting account as an account you want to play on, it will log you out of that normal account anytime the server decides to update. I would also recommend that this account not have the mobile authenticator set up since you would need to provide the code every time it wants to update the mods or the game. But you should still set up the email verifications for this account. It will be needed at least once in the setup. The last item to prepare your system is to set the time for Windows 10. Omega Manager was written for server operating systems but the developers of Omega Manager even have an entry on their wiki about how to set this up. We can change this by pressing the Windows key plus R, and in the run command, type intl.cpl. Go to the administrative tab, and click change system locale, and then check the box for beta UTF-8. And then restart your system. Now that we have everything prepared, let's install Mega Manager. The Omega Manager wiki outlines that we need to create a folder called Omega Manager. Note, this is without a space. For my setup, I will put this directly in the root directory C. We'll download Omega Manager and then move it to the folder we created. Right click and run as admin. For this video, I have UAC turned off, so I won't get the pop-ups, but if you do, go ahead and put in your credentials. Install DirectX when prompted. as well as Visual C++. Once done, it will create and open the manager.cfg file. The only things I really want to highlight in this are the updater settings, the shutdown on mod update and shutdown game servers option is one that you can change later in the web portal. We do need to input a username and password of the Steam account that has the copy of DayZ to use. And for the API key, we will need to go to the following link and request an API key for the server. Once logged in, input the public IP address of your dedicated server into the domain field check the box, and click register. Then copy the API key from the screen and paste it into your manager.cfg file. After that, we can save this file and close it.
Now we can launch Omega Manager again from the directory. When this launches, it'll log in with the credentials you set in the Manager CFG file. It should ask you for the email verification, since you should have it turned on. We'll put in the code to continue. And once you see this line, you're ready to access the web portal for Omega Manager. To open up a web browser and go to localhost colon 8081. From here, we can deploy a new instance. If you're planning on running multiple servers, I would recommend putting the server's name, some variation of it, in the instance ID so you can tell them apart in the file directory later. You don't need to modify any of the ports here, as Omega Manager will automatically find the next available port for DAISY and the DAISY query and add them to your firewall when you make each server. It will also show your Archon password which you would need later for things like CF tools. Clicking on deploy will get everything set up. Let's click on server configuration. And here we'll let you edit things like server name, password, time acceleration. We've changed the name and set a password. But most of the items are pretty much self-explanatory. So let's save the changes. So let's install the CF mod. In the mod configuration tab, search for CF. And then click the add button. Then click save. Depending on the mod, you may need to add things like types files or configuration files. But since CF doesn't need any of these, we can just add it. Now go back to the dashboard and click Install Untracked Mods. Let's start the server. You get a firewall pop-up, just allow the change. From my desktop now, we can open up Daisy Standalone Launcher. I have noticed I need to check the server first via the DAISY standalone website. After it's been checked, restart the launcher. And search for your server. eventually be brought into the game. Hope this helps. If you can, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.